Good day, everyone. Welcome to our class, The Mythology and Folklore. And for today's topic, we are going to discuss about Demeter and Dionysus, the two great gods of Earth. And we are the presenters for today. I am Angelica A. Adulta. And I am Edeline J. Roldan. I hope you keep on watching until the end. The two great gods of the earth, Demeter and Dionysus, are both known for their human emotions. As goddess of agriculture and motherly love, Demeter is associated with the pain of losing a child, and Dionysus is associated with blind rage and ecstasy, being the god of wine. First, let's talk about who is Demeter, goddess of agriculture, and this is the photo of her. Demeter is the Greek goddess of the harvest, grain, and fertility. She is one of the 12 Olympian gods that live on Mount Olympus. Because she was the goddess of the harvest, she was very important to the farmers and peasant people of Greece. The parents of Demeter, Cronus and Rhea. Cronus was the king of the Titans and the god of time, and Rhea, the mother of the gods and goddess of female fertility, motherhood, and generation. Who is the husband of Demeter? Zeus is the husband of Demeter, is the most popular god in all over the world. He was the god of the sky in ancient Greek mythology. As the chief Greek deity, it is considered the ruler, protector, and father of all gods and humans. And this was the photo of him, represented by symbols of lightning bolt and eagle. And he was an older man with a bird. The daughter of Demeter, it was Persephone. And this was the photo of her, and we can see that she was a beautiful girl, and she was a goddess of love. Persephone was the goddess queen of the underworld, wife of the god Hades. She was also the goddess of Springa, who was worshipped alongside her mother Demeter in the Eleusinian Mysteries. And also, I will tackle about how did the story of myth of Demeter and Persephone begin. In the myth of Demeter and Persephone, Demeter is heartbroken when her daughter Persephone is stolen. We can say that Demeter is a loving mother to her daughter, that she will do everything just to protect her. Persephone was a happy child, where she walked flowers bloom, and she was so radiantly beautiful. According to the Greek mythology, Persephone is considered as the queen of the underworld. She was also called Kori, which means maiden. She grew up to be a lovely girl, but many gods attract by her beauty. Until the persisting suitor of Perse Persephone, who is Hades, the god of the underworld was a hard, middle-aged man who was living in the dark, had been noticed by her beauty. But one time, when Hades see Persephone in the garden, his heart softened. He was amazed by the beauty and freshness of the young girl, until he asked Demeter, who is the mother of Persephone, if he can marry her daughter. But Demeter got furious that she tell that it will not happen and there is no chance to happen that way. At that moment, Hades was a heartbroken and he decided to, no matter what happened, he will get Persephone 
and he will marry her. One day, when the young girl is playing and picking flowers on the garden, some holes had opened, and it shows of Hades himself with his black horses. So, Hades grabbed Persephone, and it was too late to scream for help. Until he he come up and he go away went to his to their underworld kingdom and her screams alerted her mother to the danger but by then it was too late the hole had closed up leaving no scar on the ground for poor Demeter to find bent with grief she asked a nearby swine herd if he had seen what happened to her death his answer was no The other friends of Persephone haven't seen the incident. He, they don't have any idea of the sudden disappearance of Persephone until Zeus, who is the father of the maiden, witnessed the whole incident. But he remained silent because he wants to prevent a fight from her brother. brother. Mm. Until Demeter disguised herself as an old woman and went to Helios. He asked if she see her daughter. And, and Helios, who is the son of God, told the incident happened because he wants to don't involve in the incident happened. As Demeter went go to the Olympus to get her back, her daughter, Hades do not agree with that until he went home very angry. Because of that, Demeter decided to take a long and indefinite leave on her duties as the goddess of harvest and fertility, and it caused of many consequences. The earth began to dry up, Harvest failed, plant lost their fruitfulness, animals were dying for lack of food and famine, spread to the whole earth, resulting in an untold misery. The people in the Olympus had suffered and reached the news and soon. While well, in the underworld, Persephone was beginning to enjoy herself. Hades had given her magic flowers that grew without sunlight, and the dead souls obeyed her as a queen. She missed her mother and sunlight, but Persephone grew to like green Hades, even though she could eat nothing unless she wished to remain in the underworld forever. As Persephone is in the Olympus, he had to eat the six pomegranate seeds and it symbolizes the missing life in the other underworld and it was the rule of Hades to eat that. While Persephone is in the Olympus, Demeter became happy and he rejoices and the world blooms. Zeus decided to end this quarrel when Persephone, Persephone will spend Half months with her mother and half months with her. And it is the actual way of the ancient Greeks to explain the change of the seasons. And Persephone became the rightful wife of Hades and became the queen of the underworld. And this was the explanation of the myth. According to the ancient Greeks, these were the months of autumn and winter. When the land is not fertile and does not keep crops, whenever Persephone went to Olympus to live with her mother, Demeter would shine from happiness and the land would become fertile again and became fruitful. 
and these were the months of spring and summer. Therefore, this myth was created to explain the change of the seasons, the eternal cycle of nature's death and rebirth. So let us talk about Dionysus. Who is Dionysus? Dionysus was the ancient Greek god of wine, wine making, grape cultivation, fertility, ritual madness, theater, and religious ecstasy. Parents of Dionysus was Zeus and Semele. Zeus is the sky and thunder god in ancient Greek religion, who rose as king of the gods of Mount Olympus. Semele was mother of Dionysus and the goddess of the Bacchic frenzy, which sees female devotees of the god during the orgies. This is Zeus and this is Semele. Dionysus was a Greek god and one of the twelve Olympians who lived on Mount Olympus. He was the god of wine, which was a very important part of the culture of ancient Greece. He is the only Olympic god that had one parent that was mortal, his mother is him. His Roman name is Bacchus. Dionysus was the god of fertility and wine, later considered a patron of the arts. He created wine and spread the art of viticulture. He had a dual nature. In one hand, he brought joy and divine ecstasy, or he would bring brutal and driving rage, thus reflecting the dual nature of wine. How was Dionysus usually pictured? He was usually shown as a young man with long hair, and unlike the other male gods of Mount Olympus, Dionysus wasn't athletic looking. He often wore a crown made of ivy, animal skins, or a pulchral robe. He carried a staff called the Tersus, which had a pine cone on the end. He had a magical wine cup that was usually filled with wine. Um, question. What special powers and skills did he have? Like all of the twelve Olympians, Dionysus was an immortal and powerful god. He had special powers of making wine and causing vines to grow. He could also transform himself into animals like lion, and one of his special powers was the ability to drive people insane. Bird of Dionysus Dionysus is unique among the Olympic gods in that one of his parents, his mother Simile, was immortal. When Simile became pregnant by Zeus, Hera, Zeus' wife, became very jealous. She tricked Simile into looking at Zeus in his godly form. Simile was immediately destroyed. Zeus was able to save his child by suing Dionysus into his thigh. Hera's Revenge Hera was angry that the boy Dionysus had survived. She had the titans attack him and rip him into shreds. Some of the parts were rescued by his grandmother Rhea. Rhea used the parts to bring him back to life and then had him raised by mountain waves. Hera soon discovered that Dionysus was still alive. She drove him to madness that caused him to wander the world. He traveled throughout the world, teaching people how to make wine from grapes. Eventually, Dionysus regained his sanity and was accepted by the Olympic gods, including Hera, into Mount Olympus. Who was Ariadne? Ariadne was a mortal princess who had been abandoned on the island of Naxos by the hero Theseus. She was very sad and was told by the Aphrodite, the goddess of love, that she would someday meet her true love. Soon, Dionysus arrived and the two fell mad in love and were married. They had two children, Priapus and Maru. In conclusion, they are also both associated with rebirth. Persephone is forever in and out of the underworld 
and Dionysus was also ripped to bits and put back together. Plants go through a cycle of seeming death in the winter time and rebirth in the summer. Both Dionysus and Demeter are associated with plants. Demeter, the growing of, and the Dionysus, the using of. Both are powerful gods of the earth with many common things. Thank you everyone. I hope you learned something from us. Have a nice day to all. Keep safe. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to tap the notification bell so you will be updated with our channel.